what's going on everybody welcome back to another video i know this isn't something i've done ever before it's not hunting or fishing related but i wanted to let you guys know i did get a new truck um this is not a sponsored video in any way i'm paying with this with my own money i didn't no discount no nothing i just wanted to show you guys i did get a new truck just because everywhere i go hunting or fishing i end up using my truck 99 percent of the time um and i just wanted to share that with you guys i'm excited about it it's a nice truck it's definitely the fanciest thing i've ever owned i want you guys to comment below what you guys think just based off the thumbnail just what exactly uh i got so without further to do i'm going to show you guys my new truck and uh i'm going to go over some of the features and stuff Alrighty, boys are you ready feast your eyes on the new pickup truck I know, someone's already thinking, well, hell, Eric, you had that truck before. And you would be correct. I did have a Ram 1500 before, but this is not the same pickup truck. I traded in my black pickup truck for this one. This is a 2016 Ram 1500, 5.7 liter Hemi. Go look at that. We got a Hemi in that thing. My old one did not have a Hemi. And this one, I know, may look black, and I can't really tell in the video if you guys can tell, but that is black forest green on her, and she's dirty already. I literally just got done washing her, and uh, driving back the road there, I ended up getting her pretty dirty. So, this is my new truck. Just going to take you guys around her real quick, show you guys everything so the only real reason that i even bought this truck is if you guys can't tell that cab door is twice as big as my other one let me tell you how difficult it was trying to put my son parker in the back seat of my truck if I wasn't hitting his head off the top, he could barely fit in, and I felt terrible. Now, he's got all the room in the world back here. And I mean all the room in the world. This kid has so much stinking leg room now, he's never going to run out. <laughs> and honestly, that's why I bought this truck. So my son could have more leg room in the back. His little legs were up against the back of my seat, and I couldn't move forward anymore without me being in the steering wheel. I'm gonna take you guys through a walkthrough with the whole truck, show you guys everything, the stuff I like, the stuff I don't like. We'll start up front here. There's the 5.7 liter Hemi. Nothing too crazy going on here, this is all stock. Still has the factory battery in her. Uh, like I said, there's nothing all that fancy going on up here my old truck had the 4.7 liter so this is a 400 horsepower engine that i have with this and uh let me tell you you can feel the 400 horsepower it is quite zippy for a pickup truck i'm really not used to it next we have the 20 inch wheels not a fan of these because i've already looked up prices for tires on these wheels and the ones that I normally run on my trucks cost about $800 for a set of four so not looking forward to that at all yeah, I'm not a fan of these wheels at all the tires are fine they're actually new the wheels I'm not a fan of just because of the high cost of uh, tires replacement tires the next thing that I am definitely going to be taking off in the very near future is the old running boards I'm 28 years old. I don't feel like I need a little step, you know. This and this is not much of a difference to me. I know maybe if you're older, maybe a little shorter, might be a problem. But me personally, I am not a big fan of the, the way it looks. And even just using it, it just feels weird to use it. Uh, in the back here, we have a tonneau cover. This came with the truck. 
Uh, I'm not a fan of, of this either because it's Velcro. So this tailgate locks. And the whole idea between, but in my opinion, with having a locking tailgate is to stop people from getting at what's inside your truck. Can't really stop anybody when, you know, they still have access to it just by lifting up that Velcro. And then in the back here, we just have hitch, dual exhaust, and this is a Bighorn edition. So that's pretty much it for the outside. It, it's not the cleanest looking truck, especially, you know, what I thought I would get from a dealership. I've, I thought that it would be a lot cleaner. So this weekend I'm gonna take uh, some clay bar material to it and really give this thing a good shine and a good wax on it just because it's not it's not very good. They didn't do a very good job. There's still uh, some scratches and stuff in it that I'm pretty confident I can get out. Uh, a little bit of elbow grease, I'll be able to get that out, no problem. That's it for the outside of the truck. So let me take you in to the inside of the truck and give you guys the inside where all the action happened. So here we are inside the truck. Big touch screen. It comes with a cell phone holder. Don't mind my jar of coins. Have to go take those to get cash when I'm done. Big deep well for junk, really. I don't know what I'm going to put in there. That's my work phone. Two cup holders. It has like a dual little storage thing. I have my fishing license in there, so I don't forget it when I go fishing. And then this also opens and boom, fish finder. Got all the necessities in here already. So, I'm gonna give her the old start. Show you guys. Currently getting, oops, better turn that off before I get nailed. Yeah, park sense is off because I can park her car. 15 miles to the gallon right now. And she only got 28,000 miles on her. Comes with uh, XM radio, there's all kinds of Uconnect apps, heated seats, heated steering wheel, it has remote start. Not the biggest fan of this little dial thing. You see this PRND? Yeah, that's how I put it in gear. Not a fan of that. I can't tell you how many times in the mornings I get in the truck to, and I just, I grab here, I wanna, I wanna shift. I like that. Not a fan of this thing. I actually haven't even pressed the four wheel drive button yet. Well, it's in four wheel drive, so that works, that's good. It has a 115 plug here. I already got the plug for my boat in here, so I don't forget that first time I have the boat out. It has some, uh, 911 button up here with the mirror. If I can zoom on that, no. Well, that says assist and that says 911. Don't know what that does, haven't pressed those buttons yet. Man, my butt's getting toasty. Don't need that stuff on. And this also has an Alpine stereo system in it. So it actually has 10 speakers in it and a sub underneath the back seat, which I will show you in just a minute. Over here, dual glove box, just like my other truck, I always had this. It's all my paperwork. Nothing really going on over there because passengers don't need all the cool stuff I have. Turn this off, we don't need that running. It also has cup holders in the door. Probably not gonna use that. In the back, which I already showed you, Parker's car seat, pretty much always gonna be in here because I, I'm not getting rid of him anytime soon. Uh, this is the blanket for the dog to be on. My work jacket. We have a cigarette lighter plug out here. It also has climate control back here, which is nice. Cup holders. More cup holders. And we open up all of this. I got going that side. Hold on. We open this up. There's the subwoofer. Or at least I, I believe it's a subwoofer. It's a speaker of some kind. I don't know. This also does that, which is really nice. I think this is going to be the dog seat because that way he's not on my nice seats. I'll make him go in here. That way, you know, he kind of actually has more room with this versus 
anything else. So that'll be actually really nice for him. This is the first I've opened this up. Ah, look at that. You could probably actually sleep in person on this. Uh, in a sleeping bag, a little air mattress or something. There's no reason to, a person my size couldn't sleep on that. That snaps back down. There is storage underneath Parker's seat, but I'm not going to take the car seat out to show you guys that. Something I do really enjoy are these boxes. I have all my, uh, I have all my bungee cords and ratchet straps in there. There's also one on the other side. Uh, so that's it for the inside of the cab, I believe. So I believe the only other thing I have to show you guys is the tailgate where all the deer are gonna go. Or bear if we get any bear this year. Pretty nice, it is rhino line of some sort. So that's nice. This tailgate looks like it's never been used. It's certainly never seen any significant dirt. Don't mind my pressure washer. Uh, the Tanyo cover does in fact roll back. Like I said, I'm selling that. I'm getting rid of it. I'm putting a trifold on with the locking brackets underneath there. But yeah, all in all, I really do like the truck. I love the color and I'm hoping you guys can see that right there, that dark green really nice it does show all the imperfections in the paint especially right there I don't know yeah you guys can see that you see that right there how do you let that walk out of a dealership like that huh how I mean you can tell someone took a buffer to it so I'm going to fix it I'm gonna clay bar the crap out of, the, of it this weekend even if I have to uh, spend all day on it. I should be able to get this looking really really good So I, you know, let me know what you guys think uh, I'm not trying to flex on you in any way. I just wanted to share something with you guys It's kind of an odd time of year for me to make videos because You're kind of in like that wall of fishing and hunting uh, next weekend's the last day of squirrel season and then you have trout season which is essentially closed except for certain areas so it's it's a weird time of year it's hard for me to get out and make videos so that's why i'm doing this today and i'm really excited to show this with you guys so let me know what you guys think about the truck let me know what you guys would do to the truck um i'm open to any ideas i did see and i'll try to put a picture of it uh from amazon i'm not a chrome guy in any way this is too much chrome in my opinion you can get rid of this and put like a real nice black grill in it. And it says Ram in the front. And it's got three lights. And I was thinking, man, I could put a little light bar behind it to use at night when I'm out driving. Especially, you know, backcountry roads. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to put a picture somewhere on the screen just to show you guys what the grill looks like. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is the first time I've ever made something like, like this with you guys. So hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the view guys. We're still growing like crazy. And, uh, you know, my goal is to hit 2000 by the end of the year, 2000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I am trying my best to keep coming up with new and creative content for you guys. Struggling right now, but... You know i'm doing my best so once it gets warmer and we're out fishing and turkey season comes around you know videos are going to start pounding out i'm going to try to make two a week really uh crank this up a little bit so just want to say i appreciate you guys thanks for all your support until then i'll see you next time peace